Today we're using our soda stream. Come on in and welcome to my home. If this is your first time here, remember to subscribe, hit that button right there. Every Wednesday is tips for you and your home. And here is a video that I thought that I had actually done, but I hadn't. So I had to do this video pretty quickly because in the next coming upcoming videos, you're going to hear that I talk about my soda stream quite a bit. And I use my soda stream all the time. Some of you are saying, well, what is a soda stream? A soda stream is a way that you can make your own soda. Yeah, it's really true. You can take this and what it does is it has a cartridge. It is a cartridge which will then add the bubbles to it. Yeah, and you can get these at most big box stores. I do not know if you can order them online. The cartridge itself just screws in. And as you saw, I just put on the top. Now let's talk about the best things. Okay. Oh, uh, if you want to use your soda stream, one of the things that I will tell you, it comes with its own bottles. I love to get the dishwasher safe bottle simply because, well, I'm sort of lazy and I'll admit that wholeheartedly. I want to be able to wash this in my dishwasher. This is so easy. But if you want to make it really easy on yourself and really great, use cold water. Yeah, if you listen, if you follow the directions completely, you'll use cold water because that's what it says. I'm going to fill up my bottle. And yes, these are special bottles for your soda stream because we're adding carbon, you know, carbonated water. Huh? Yeah, yeah, still there. Okay. I added it to the level of the where it says add water. This, the flow of this is really, really, really important. These are so easy to use, so wonderful. It's, I mean, it's just so quick and everything. But follow the directions. Do not add your soda stream flavoring, which I'm using the lemon lime. Now, here's something which is really interesting. If you hit that eye in the sky, you can tell me if you'd like to see me make some flavorings that you can use in your own soda stream uh, if you want to get one. Or you can use it with just carbonated water. And I'll tell, I can teach you how to do that, but I need to know if you're interested. So then just tilt it out and then screw in the soda stream bottle. Once it's nice and tight, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the top. Hear the water going, hear the uh, carbon going in there. You want to keep pressing until you hear clicks. Once you hear those, it's all ready. Yeah, it was that quick. We're just going to unscrew it. Did you hear the gas release? All right, I unscrew. Sit that off to the side and you can see all the bubbles in there. Now we take our flavoring. This one has, this one is for our great size. So we know how, how much to use in it. The cap itself has two lines on there. I know that I'm going to go up to the second line for this size bottle. Real easy so far, right? Remember to follow the directions for your bottles because they do make smaller bottles. And I'm going to gently pour this into our bottle. If you pour in too fast, what can happen? <laughs> it can flow up all over the place. Yes, the carbon will, the, the carbonated water will then take over and it will flow up everywhere. Now, here's one thing I've also learned, <laughs> and this is from experimenting. I'm going to gently rock this back and forth. Why do I not want to shake it? Yes. Yes, it's exactly what you think. Because it is carbonated water. Now, some of you are saying, do you use this right away? Generally, I don't. I like to let mine sit every once in a while. However, do I always let it sit? No. <laughs> I, I sometimes just pour it out right away. And yes, I have a cold, wonderful beverage. Want to give it a taste? Lemon lime, lemon lime soda. Now you're asking yourself, well, what, how does this compare to buying soda? Uh, realistically, I think it's comparable. The cool thing about this is I can adjust the flavoring. If I don't, if I think it's too sweet, I can cut down on the amount of syrup in it. If I think it's not sweet enough, I can add syrup to it. I can make my own flavorings or I could just simply do 
plain carbonated water. You're saying that's all, you're surprised that's all there is to it. It is, that's all there is to it. Using your soda stream is so easy. Now the things to remember, do you need these special bottles? Yes, because of course it will expand because it's carbonated water. You need to have the special bottles. The flavorings, there are all sorts of flavorings. I'm sure I have them listed down below in my Amazon affiliate link. The soda streams have changed. I got mine about, oh, maybe two years ago and I use it all the time. I mean, I use this all the time. I rarely ever buy just soda. I like to keep sometimes the bottles around just in case, you know, I use it and then want to make more. I have two of these on hand at all times so that I can use it, but it is so simple, so easy to use. You will be surprised at how quick it, it, it goes. If you have questions about this, let me know. If you have a soda stream or you get a soda stream, you can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I'd love to hear how you use your soda stream. And like I said, if you want to know about making, uh, if you want to have some idea about making some syrups of your own for your soda stream, let me know down in, in the comments too, or you can go back and take the poll again. And I hope I get to see you again next time.